Now releasing all goblins. Nanka! This video is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. If you're looking for cards in the US, look no further as you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA to get you 5% off anything on the site. You can also use the promo code MTGMUDSTA for 5% off your orders from Face to Face Games, Canada's largest Magic the Gathering store, with qualified orders getting free shipping Canada wide. And if you just want to help out the channel, you can always consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a month and join the generic goblin gang. Hey gang, I just wanted to let you know that for the next month, I've teamed up with the awesome crew over at CardTrader.com. What is CardTrader you're asking? It's an online marketplace where individuals and stores around the world can list their cards for sale. Chances are if you're looking for it, they've got it. With an easy to navigate and user friendly web space, you'll be able to find what you need in no time. Plus, they offer an amazing service called Card Trader Zero, which makes getting your cards from various countries even simpler. For example, I can order a breeding pool from Italy, a dark ritual from Finland, and a reanimate from the UK. They're all then sent to a central hub nearest you for only a small fee, packaged all together, and then shipped your way in one easy shipment. They've also got an optimized shopper to help you find the best possible prices on the card you want. Simply put, if you want to save yourself a headache, use Card Trader. It lets you support local game stores across Europe, save on cards, and save on shipping. If you're interested in checking it out, be sure to sign up with my referral code shown here and in the video description below. Hey gang and welcome back! Today's game is another multi-zone matchup, and I'm playing Zedru, Keeping Up Planes, Fenzer the Sojourner, Needle Verge Pathway, Fires of Invention, Gilded Drake, and Decree of Silence. Maximus is rocking his Kenrith deck, Keeping Up Planes, a Mountain, Wooded Foothills, Flooded Strand, Blood Crypt, Muldrotha, and Knight of the Reliquary. Kevin is playing his Kara Zikar deck, The Eye Tyrant, Keeping Demonic Tutor, Exotic Orchard, Dowsing Dagger, Phyrexian Tower, Itali, Magmatic Chandler, and a Swamp. New to the channel is Thibault playing Wilhelt and keeps a Choked Estuary, Swamp, Exotic Orchard, Popper Stitchet, Empty the Laboratory, Reflections of Lajara, and Army of the Damned. Thibault wins the die roll and starts us off. He plays a choked estuary, revealing a swamp. I play a plains. Kevin plays a swamp. Maximus plays out a wooded foothills, passing. Thibault plays an exotic orchard and ships it to me. I play a mountain and tap two for Oath of the Liege. Kevin finds a basic because of the Oath trigger, and draws for turn after shuffling. Maximus saves some time at this point as well, cracking his wooded foothills to go and find a land while Kevin is doing so as well. Kevin then plays Phyrexian Tower, and casts a Magmatic Chandler. Maximus finds a basic from his Oath, and draws. He plays a Soul Ring, and then a Plains. He taps out for Knight of Reliquary, passing. Thibault finds a land, and draws. He plays a Swamp, and then casts a Poppet Stitcher, passing. I find an Island, and draw. I play a Needle Forge Pathway, and then tap 4 mana, casting Fires of Invention. I follow up with a Felhar Stone, and pass. Kevin gets his land, and draws. He plays Exotic Orchard for turn, and casts a Dowsing Dagger, giving the plant tokens to Maximus as it enters. He then gears up the Channeler, and hits me. This transforms the dagger, and he moves to a second main phase, and then just passes turn. Maximus finds a land, and at this point just to save my voice, just assume everyone does unless I say otherwise. He then taps 5 mana to play Kenrith the Returned, and shocks in a Blood Crypt so he can pay the 1 red to use Kenrith's ability to give everything Trample and Haste. He swings both at Thibault, who takes the hit, dropping to 32, and notes down 5 commander damage. Thibault draws for turn, and plays a Reflections of Lajara, a card I love to see but have yet to cast. He names zombies for obvious reasons, and passes to me. My turn has me playing a Bloodstained Mire, and then casting a Gilded Drake. I steal Kenrith the Return, who we name changed to Kenrith who Maximus hopes will return. My second spell for turn then is Venser, who once out, has me upticking him to exile the Drake until end of turn. The drake comes back, and I steal the poppet stitcher, and pass to Kevin. Kevin actually doesn't get to find a land with the oath trigger sadly, and instead plays a blightstep pathway in his main phase. 
he casts a demonic tutor and goes to find a card to put to hand. He then activates the Chandler, discarding Anger and exiling his top two. He then sacrifices the Chandler to the tower, making two black mana, and uses it to help cast Itali. Itali has haste because of Anger in his graveyard, and Kevin swings the Dinosaur Adventure. We all exile our top cards, hitting three lands and a Cemetery Reaper, which Kevin casts. I block Itali with the Stitcher, and in the second main phase, Kevin then casts Felwar Stone from Exile and passes. Maximus finds his land and draws. He plays a Scalding Tarn, losing one to sacrifice it and go and find a land. He grabs a Cinder Glade, which comes in untapped. He then swings the Knight of Reliquary at Venser, who takes the hit and loses four loyalty counters. Maximus then casts a Muldroth in his second main phase and enchants the Elemental with Fortitude before passing. Thibault plays a Demir Aqueduct, which enters tapped, while I taunt Maximus that he'll never get his commander back. Thibault bounces a land back to his hand as it comes in, and then casts Wilhelt, getting a token copy of it from the reflection that says he casts it. He sacrifices the token once the real one resolves to the legendary rule. This has the real Wilhelt seeing a zombie die, and he makes it a decayed zombie token. Moving to combat, he swings the Drake to take out Venser. At the end of turn, I use Kenrith's ability to draw a card. I find my land for the Oath, and draw. I threaten Maximus that I'll attack him with Kenrith, and then use Zedru to donate it to Kevin to make Kevin attack him as well if he doesn't behave. I then cast Zedru in his main phase, and activate Kenrith once more to draw. I don't bother attacking, and pass to Kevin. Kevin once more doesn't get an Oath trigger, and then casts his commander Karazikar, the Eye Tyrant, in his main phase. Moving to combat, Itali comes at me, and the Reaper goes at Maximus. This lets Kevin tap down Kenrith and Muldratha, goading them as well. We then reveal our top cards, with Kevin hitting Dovescape, Regrowth, and Soul Ring, and a land from his deck. He casts everything but Dovescape, leaving that in exile. He then brings back Demonic Tutor thanks to the Regrowth, and I take 6, while Maximus blocks the plant token. At the end of combat, I crack the Bloodstained Mire, losing 1 to find a mountain. Kevin then recasts the tutor in his second main phase to go and find a card, and passes. Maximus counts up his lands, and goes to find a basic land. He then draws for turn, and plays a Bloodstained Mire Expedition. He cracks it, losing 1 to find a Smoldering Marsh, putting it to field. He then swings Muldrotha at me, and the knighted Thibault. This has both he and Kevin losing 2 life, and drawing 2 cards. Thibault and I then take our hits. Before leaving combat though, I activate Kenrith to gain 5 life. Maximus then plays out Tatiova in his second main phase, and follows up with Wilderness Reclamation. He passes, untapping his lands at the end of turn from the Wilderness trigger. Thibault plays a Swamp for turn, and then casts Army of the Damned. This has him making 13 tap 2-2 zombies, but more importantly, actually has the amount of tokens needed to represent this correctly. Moving to combat, the Drake goes at Maximus. This has Kevin and Thibault drawing a card and losing one life, and Maximus then takes three. At the end of turn, he resolves Wilhelm's trigger, sacrificing a zombie token and drawing a card. I find my basic from the Oath Trigger and draw. I then cast Decree of Silence in my main phase since I have enough lands now, and follow up with Solemnity to complete my spell lock combo. I then activate Zedru to donate away Fires of Invention to Kevin, and since I can now cast more than 2 spells a turn, I cast 9 lives. We then move to combat, which forces me to swim with Kenrith, and I go at Thibault. This has Kevin and I each losing 1, and drawing a card from Karaxar's Trigger. Kevin untaps after reading Fires of Invention a few times, and he goes at me with his team, goading Zedru. We exile our top cards from Natali, which Kevin can't cast any of them really because of the Decree. Nine Lives also prevents any damage that would be dealt to me, and with nothing else, he passes. Maximus plays an Arid Mesa, drawing a card and gaining one from Tatiova. There's a bit of confusion though, 
but I clarify that 9 lives doesn't actually stop me from losing life, just prevents me from taking damage, which is an important difference. Maximus then cracks the mesa for one, going to find a hollowed fountain. He draws a card and gains one life from Tatiova as it comes in. Tatiova then goes at me, which has Maximus and Kevin each losing one and drawing one. Maximus then casts a Springbloom Druid, which is countered, and he puts it to his graveyard. He then sacrifices a land to the knight to go and find a land. This lets him put out a forest, and he gains one life and draws from Tatiova. Thibault finds his basic from the Oath and draws for turn. He can't do anything else at this point, and swings at me with a drake, which has him and Kevin losing one and drawing one. At the end of turn, he sacrifices a token to Wilhelt and draws a card as well. At this point, I donate the Oath with Zedru to Maximus. On my upkeep, I find a land thanks to Oath, and then draw two from Zedru and gain two. I draw for turn and play a command tower. I follow up with Sunbird's Invocation, and once that's out, use Day of Judgment. This wipes the board and gets me a Mana Vault. At this point with such a hard lock on the table, I will inevitably be able to draw into my combo pieces and with no resistance cast them and win, so the table decides to scoop it up. Game review time. So typically with Zedru, I don't get to do the Decree of Silence Solemnity lock twice because people see it coming and they don't let me have it, and I can understand why. I think in this game I just had a critical mass of things that worked well for me, with the Oath of Lieges and the Fires of Invention helping me significantly by letting me cast spells faster than my deck normally could. That, plus the fact that I had managed to give stuff away with Zedru to help get some card draw if I needed, just led me to be in a really good board state. I also think it certainly helped that I stole Kenrith, and Maximus's deck seemed like it was basically 5 color landfall, although I think he was hurting for draw a little bit. The more I see of goad-based cards, the more I love it, and Karazakar is no different from the rest. I think it's a fantastically designed commander, I think the fact that it has draw and incentive to make your opponents want to attack their other opponents, as long as it's not you, is just beautiful. Similarly, Wilhelt is a powerful design, but it still synergizes only with zombies, so it's not over-the-top broken. I think the fact that it has card draw, plus makes tokens, is a bit pushed, but it's still a fun commander, although my heart is probably still set on Gisa and Garalf. This video wouldn't be possible without the help from my sponsors, Cool Stuff Inc., Original Magic Art, and Alter Sleeves. But it definitely wouldn't be possible without the help from you, the viewers, and my patrons. So I just want to say thank you for watching, and to remember, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.